Hey guys and welcome back to the practical nmap guide. In this video we are going to talk about the nmap scripting engine. So what is a scripting engine? Well, scripting engine is is a collect it contains a collection of scripts that you can import and then we can use it for automating finding vulnerabilities, automating DOS attacks, automating enumeration and much much more. So yeah, nmap supports scripting and it is developed recently i mean when i say recently like not that recently but after nmap was developed people thought it would be a very great idea to include scripting in nmap as well so now you can actually run scripts which can be custom defined or pre-made uh, pre and this will actually increase your efficiency of scanning and finding vulnerabilities and even exploiting these vulnerabilities so let's learn further so these are the available libraries or categories that we can use with nmap so if you want to use the default category you would type nmap then hyphen hyphen script equals to then the default you will type default because you wanted to use the default category if you wanted to use the one then you will type one if you wanted to use both default and one then you will type default comma one so the bottom box you can see these are all the available categories which we can use to scan for exploits or what what they say what the category says so if you were to visit this website known as nmap.org that nsc doc let me go to that website so this is nmap.org slash nsc doc and towards the left, left hand side you will find categories and these are all the categories that i have mentioned right over here below in below in the boxes i have mentioned all these categories now you can choose any category and you can start scripting all right start the scripting engine so if you wanted if you wanted to use you no know, uh, if you wanted to scan for authorization then you would use the auth and what it does is it will retrieve authentication information and you know this lists all the discovered credentials and within this category there are individual scripts available so if you import this particular category by writing hyphen hyphen script equals to auth then all these scripts are included and it will perform scanning based on these individual scripts but you just need to pinpoint only one script and scan based on only one script then you can just type in this particular name so in my case if i want to use this ajp hyphen auth then i'll type nmap space hyphen hyphen script equals to ajp hyphen auth and then the optional parameters like service version identification, sync scanning, OS detection, and variable both. So let's just do it. Okay, before before going to the practical way, it's good to actually understand some of what these categories do. Like auth, what it does is it scans and retrieves information or authentication information if uh, if found. Brute force is all about brute for brute is all about brute forcing. Like AFP brood will perform password guessing against Apple filing protocol. Then default will include the default scanning scripts, which I which are like these are all the default scanning scripts. Then we have one which include vulnerabilities in a web application. This particular category is the one we are looking for. As an ethical hacker, we are interested in one category, and this includes all the CVEs. Or which CVEs are known as what you call the web vulnerability exploits. So we can use this particular category for searching for vulnerability exploits. Like C FTP VSFTP D backdoor is a script which is used to check whether there is any backdoor present and you will try to exploit that backdoor. So one is a category that we are interested, in, and the another category that we are interested in is exploit. Exploit includes all the web application exploits which includes scanning for dome based excesses if you are a bug bounty hunter then you might know what this stands for then file upload exploiter even it has an stored excesses exploiter so it's really good if you are a bug hunter then i would suggest using nmap's exploit category to check for to automate vulnerability findings in web applications so let's move on i have run parrot operating system and also meta exploitable in my background I'll show you this is the parrot operating system and I'll show you meta exploitable too. 
So this is the Metasploitable 2, which is running in the background. By the way, if you don't know what Metasploitable 2 is, Metasploitable 2 is a vulnerable Linux machine, which is made intentionally vulnerable so that we can practice our attacks on this particular machine. If you don't have Metasploitable 2, no need to worry. You can practice the exploits on scanme.nmap.org or any other virtual machine, virtual machines that are available online. Like you can perform it on Acunetics, which is another intentionally made vulnerable web application. So you can practice there. Or for safer side, I have downloaded Metasploitable 2 for easier access and I can practice my exploit here. So now let's begin our scanning. I'll go to Parrot Operating System make sure you are root or administrator because nmap certain nmap scans require authentication access so basically pre uh, like starting from the previous videos we used to scan something like nmap then the ip address of our victim then the options service version number then i need to identify the operating system i find capital o is it capital o yeah it's capital o then then what all we had we need to scan i think ports from zero to thousand then we need to scan okay we don't mention the ports we'll leave it to the nmap to scan the top thousand ports now we are going to scan using the script so hyphen hyphen script and equals to now this will be filled by the category that is mentioned here in these categories you can it can be it can take any values like auth broadcast brew default discovery so we are interested in one and this is going to really help you while performing ethical hacking so we'll type hyphen hyphen script one and then you will type minus v verbose now if i hit enter it will start the scan it has written loaded 140 and scripts for scanning and now initially it performed this scripts engine like script engine and then it will perform port scanning and then finally it will scan for vulnerabilities using the script that we provided while it's scanning i'll take time to explain that you can even write your own particular uh, scripts and you can pass it to the nmap scripting engine and it will try to run this particular script that you have de deployed or developed so as you can see the scan is completed let's go over the reports Oh my god, a lot of them. As I mentioned earlier, this is Metasploitable 2 vulnerable machine and it includes vulnerabilities which are known and Nmap actually have particularly caught up these vulnerabilities and have reported it to us. So if you were to perform this scanning on your own and you had no idea such a script existed, you would have only got this result which is like the ports not port numbers and not this result well which you, are, you would have got something like the port numbers the service version and you you were to go to the market and search for common exploit present on this service version all right but after the inclusion of script hyphen one we got more informations like if you look here this is an ftp vsftp backdoor and this script ran and it returned that it is vulnerable that means this particular port 21 tcp ftp which has this vsftpd 2.3.4 is vulnerable to this particular backdoor and it has given more results and it has exploited and has given that it this uid equal to zero root means that it tried privilege escalation method and it got in as an administrator which is really really good news for us and it has also given us references and it includes cve mitre so if i were to click control click on it it will lead you as to a website regarding this particular vulnerability and cve.mitre.org keeps track of all these open cves which are open in public so let me go to that particular website since I clicked on this link, it will give you more vulnerability information on this particular exploit. So I think this is a CVE 2011-2523. 2011 means it was found in 2011 and 2523 is the number. And the severity rating are all given in this national vulnerability database. So if I were to click on that, it will take us to nvdt.nist.gov. Here you will gain more information about this vulnerability.
so as you can see this is the detail and the severity is given as critical 9.8 which is really huge all right so you can read through it and find out more now let me cl close this one up so that was one vulnerability that we found now at port 22 which is ssh it tried using calam vxec and script execution failed no need to worry we'll find more now here at port 25 tcp open smtp it is vulnerable to ssl dh params x script a uh, script which says that anonymous diffie hellman key exchange mitm vulnerability so you, on check results you will you can refer this particular link and you'll gain more information about this and you can exploit this so going through all this uh, report you can find vulnerabilities and this is a typical sql injection vulnerability and it has found out some injection vulnerability on these particular links which is absolutely great and these are some known cves which is also really great so going through this you'll find a lot 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 of vulnerabilities that you can use to exploit the particular web application or host in our case so let me clear that up okay so that was all about script scanning so in conclusion we can say that script scanning actually helped us identify more vulnerabilities which we never thought would have existed in the device if we were doing it manually what would have done is we would have gone through e service version number and would have identified like searched for the vulnerabilities on the internet but what the script has done the script one category of the script had many 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 vulnerabilities and it tried scanning for these vulnerabilities and what all vulnerabilities were found it reported it back to us that's a really good way of automating nmap so that was all about nmap scripting engine in the next video we will discuss about firewall evasion methods until then take care goodbye